Hello, everyone. I'm here to tell you my story of connection and disconnection in my professional career. 2016 marked a turning point in my life. I was celebrating my 50th birthday. 50 is an interesting number for a woman, especially for a working woman with three teenagers at home. But I had something else to celebrate. I had 25-year anniversary in Microsoft, the company I entered just after the university that formed me professionally, where I grew up surrounded by technology. And definitely, Microsoft made me fell in love with technology and innovation. In June 2016, an unexpected phone call reached me. The new elected mayor of Milan, Giuseppe Sala, asked me to join him and his staff to drive the digital transformation plan for my own city. I was shocked, I was honored, I was terrified. This was a U-turn in my entire life. He told me, stop working around the world. Come back to your own city. Take your expertise to your own city. Reflecting on what's next for me, I remind reminded an American idiom. In the first third of your life, you learn. In the second third, you earn. In the third one, you return. I was 50, I was in the third one. So, this was a really challenging proposal, but something in my stomach made me say yes. And so I decided to leave uh, this golden career and to jump into a black hole. The first day in my new job, I expected to find the ideal Milan I had in mind design, fashion, the glamorous Milan that everyone was celebrating abroad. It was like this, but when I entered my new office, in the new building, which is in Via Larga, and new is probably not the right adjective, I entered the registry office hall and I found a sign in front of me. Only cash payments, possibly exact amount. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I was totally, totally shocked. I looked around me and I found Papers, 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 dust, stamps, people only having face-to-face -face interaction with citizens. And they said, oh my goodness, am I the right person here? But I observed people just a little bit more deeply, and I saw that everyone had in their pocket a smartphone with which they were managing their personal life. So I engaged the entire team of technological uh, direction and I told them, 
Milan is different. We can do that together. We have to make a plan, a digital transformation plan, exactly as we were in a private company. And so we began to build this digital transformation plan based on four pillars, infrastructure, citizen services, digital education, digital skills, and the kind of layer in the middle, which is digital bridge, that means to get connection with international cities uh, more advanced than we are to work together on digital projects. Cities like Barcelona, like New York, like Tel Aviv, like Tallinn, like Amsterdam, and so on. The plan seems to be perfect, but the perspective was technology. There was something missing. And so we reflected that we had to change the perspective and focus on people, human and tech should be connected. And so we changed the perspective, keeping the digital plan, but putting the citizen at the very center. But there was still something missing. We needed a strategy to move all our projects on. And the strategy can be summarized in a claim mobile first, one click. What does it mean? It means that our effort should have been to move all the services to a mobile phone, because every single citizen in Milan has a mobile phone in their hands. One click was a kind of challenge for us to look for the simplification of processes and procedures. Doing this, we could really succeed in getting closer to people. People don't care about technology. They don't care about infrastructure. They only want services. And doing this, we plan and developed all our progress. And Month after month, we made this big change. Uh, for example, one project is the Citizen Digital Folder, which is a private, a secure digital area on the municipality website where every single citizen can find uh, all the, the, the certificates, the documents, the taxes, enrollment to schools, so they don't have to care about the huge interoperability project behind that. They only get the service. And the numbers can confirm that we are on the right journey. Let me just give you a few numbers. Nowadays, 55% of certificates are get by online. So they are downloaded online. We have more than one million payments through cashless ways. You remember the sign? Now, after two years. And the, to the citizen digital folder, we got more than 700,000 visits. So this is a message. If you simplify services to citizens, they use it. But there is another message that I got. As you can imagine, in my career, I had the privilege to meet amazing people, like Bill Gates in Microsoft, Michelle Obama, the Pope who visited Milan uh, some ago, and many times, when I backed home, I told to my kids, you know what, today I met this or that, and the reaction was, oh yes, 
Very interesting. Oh, yes, mommy. Oh, are you happy? Yeah, great. Few weeks ago, during the last digital weeks, I was preparing my speech for the day after, and uh, my kids were there around, and I told them, oh, maybe you can help me. Tomorrow I'm going to meet uh, a, a blogger, no, a YouTuber, no, no, it's a creator. Maybe you can help me to suggest, what's the name, mommy? Uh, it's uh, Favi J. The reaction was amazing. <laughs> Favi J, really, take a picture. Send us a video. Ask him to come to our home. <laughs> and I said, you remember? I have been working for 25 years for Bill Gates, you know? <laughs> no, 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 mommy, Favi J. I was really shocked, but this was a message. We are sometimes disconnected to our own children, to people. We live in a different world. Our kids are growing up with technology. Uh, you have probably heard many times they are digital natives. I said digital embedded. They have digital inside. And we have to face this. We have to understand how to speak to people, how to embrace people, how to engage people with our messages, with our stories, with our experiences. So, I want to tell something to those of you who work in the tech area, tech experts, please share your expertise and your digital skills with public sector because People need that. And you have a lot to give to people to help them. But again, I'm here to tell to public sector, to public officials, please open up your mind to technology and innovation because only using technology as an enabler, we can really, really improve people's life. It's a win-win cooperation. Thank you.